Okay, beautifuls. I'm putting these videos together to help you sound better on Clubhouse. Uh, because the better that you sound on the platform, the more that your art, your music, your craft will be appreciated by others. Uh, and so in the previous video, we discussed how to get good quality audio into the platform. In this video, we're going to be talking about monitoring, how you can get audio out of the platform and mix it with the audio from your source material so that you can give the best performance possible. Okay? So let's get to it. All right? So just to recap a little bit, in the previous video, we discussed that if you want to get audio in and out of Clubhouse, the first thing that you need is one of these things. All right? This is a Lightning TRRS adapter. One of these little things. And you're going to need to match that with something like this. This is a splitter. This splits the audio coming out with the audio coming in. You're also going to need something like this. This is a TRRS, TRS adapter or a summing cable, which basically what it does is that it takes a stereo signal coming from your source material, from your headphone amp, from your mixer, from your sound card, okay? and it's sending it, it's summing it up, turning it into a mono signal, and sending it down this chain of adapters into the right place so that it sounds good. Now, you might need one of these if your output is a, is a quarter inch jack, all right? But uh, this is just basically so you get the idea of what's happening. Now, if you are performing acoustically and you do not need to hear yourself, then uh, you can play acoustically and all you really need to do is plug in a set of earphones into the earphone adapter, right? A set of earphones, and you will hear what's happening on, on a Clubhouse. You will hear people clapping, praising, saying thank you very much for your music, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, you will not be able to hear yourself because the way that this app works is that the signal that you put in, you do not get out, okay? So if you are a DJ, if you are playing with synthesizers, if you're using vocals with effects and you need to hear yourself, you need to hear what's coming out, you need to sum this signal otherwise. Now, there's several ways of doing this, but just so you understand what needs to happen, I'm going to show you basically how I do it. And what I do is I use another mixer, okay? Now, you can plug in your signal, the signal coming out of here, into your mixer, and you can remix that. Uh, unfortunately, my mixer looks a little bit like a XXX porno movie where all the inputs and outputs are filled and being used. So I'm using an, a, an external mixer, which might actually be the solution that you need, okay? So just so you get an idea of what's happening, I have, I have another output from my mixer. This is the, the, this is the, the XLR output uh, feeding into my mixer. I have the other output feeding into Clubhouse through this chain of adapters. And then what I'm doing is I am feeding into this mixer the output from Clubhouse. The earphone output is feeding into this, into this mixer. So basically what I'm doing is I'm dialing in uh, as much as I need of myself, as much as I need of the people and the yapping in the room, okay? And I am feeding this signal into a headphone preamp. Now, there are mixers that have integrated headphone preamps and you can find them for 30, 40, 50 bucks, you can get really high quality ones for under $100 where you can mix them. So there's headphone mixers that, that do everything here and they actually have an integrated headphone uh, output so you can just plug that in and you can hear yourself. And you're all set. In my case, uh, my setup is a little bit different. I don't have a headphone output for this, so what I do is I plug it in to this to this recorder. Now, the cool thing about using this recorder is that I can, I mean, obviously plug in my earphones into this and I get pretty good quality sound. Um, I, can, I can adapt the input and the output. But most importantly, I can record just at the press of a button. I can record myself in the highest quality possible. Remember that I'm getting stereo. My stereo, my, the quality of the audio that is coming into here is better than the quality of the audio that is coming in there. So you can get a really good, good qual sound quality of your performance, but you can mix in also the reaction of the room and the feedback and everything. So this is great because just with a touch of the button, I can, uh, I can save my performance for post posterity. I can analyze what, uh, what was great, what could have been better, and, uh, and it's compact. Now, this whole setup here will cost you around 150 bucks, probably less, 
maybe more, which is about the same you'd be paying for an iRig, which is why I've been saying that you don't need an iRig when an iRig probably, unless you play guitar, you won't be using it after, uh, after Clubhouse updates their, their interface capabilities. But all of these other things are practical, which you could be using for things uh, in the future. So just a recap of what you have is you have earphones, which have uh, an amplifier, in my case, a recorder as well, and something that's mixing the signal the original signal from my source with the signal that is coming from Clubhouse. Book. That's it. This is what you need to monitor. Now, I hope that was helpful. In the next video, I will be sharing how to position microphones and how to position AirPods and, and headphones uh, to do acoustic performances and sound good. How to, how to, how to work and with, you know, with the minimum amount of gear to get a pretty decent sound into the platform so that you may grace everybody on Clubhouse with your amazing talent and your beautiful music. I hope this was helpful.